Hey, welcome back to a video. This video is a little shot at a different time of day. And usually it's in the morning, so the lighting's a little different. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to share a file privately with the S3 bucket. Now, typically when you upload a file, it is starts as private. And you can't access it. You can then download it from your S3 uh, dashboard. But if you want to be able to share a file with another user or something like that, you have to actually do a little work and create a uh, proper uh, script to do this. So if you look at my screen right now, um, I have everything actually already set up. If you do not have everything set up, I have lots of videos. I, this is all done being done in PHP, so I actually have an end-to-end -end PHP tutorial that's being uploaded today. I'll include it down below. I also include all the code and everything else, so you check, the, check that all out. So I this is my upload form. I have an S3 bucket that's all set up right here, right? I have the uh, proper permissions and things like that. Again, if you don't have it, I have lots of videos on that. Check them out. And so what I'm doing next is I have to actually add the upload code. So upload.php there is what I need. And the way it's going to work is um, I'm not actually going to go through any, uh, most of this because you know I, I already have videos on this, so just take a look at those. Copy and paste. Do the following, which then uh, I'm going to run composer require this. And I have key, my secret. The last one is my bucket, temp bucket, that's the name here, um, and that's everything there. So uh, my upload should now work. Choose file. You got a screenshot here, hit upload. It says done. Refresh. Test example. Screenshot sitting right there. Boom. Okay, so first press done. I'm not going to get into detail about that. Next part is actually sharing this. Um, so, what we'll need is a database. To I'm using MAP here. And so, we'll have to create a database. So, I'm going to PHP my admin. Um, this is the database I was using for the other end-to-end -end tutorial. I'm going to just extend it. Files to. So let's just see what this. Um, yeah, so actually I'll just use this. So I created a, a table with an ID, which is a unique primary key, and it's an integer. I created um, a var char, which is um, a string. And I created an access code, which is also a string. And so I'm just going to use this again. And so during the upload, I am going to, so in the upload, at, after it's done, I have the path in the key name here is a, the path that I want to save. So I'm going to connect to my database using uh, MySQL. Uh, sorry, doing JavaScript all day. So localhost root, this is the password. I've named the database as 3db. I'm not going to go into details about this as well. This is just this is basic database stuff. Um, all you have to do is, and then I'm doing a MySQL query, which is going to use the table and insert into my S3 files table values. These are terrible um, error names, but so I have S3 file path and access code. S3 file path access code. So this would be key name, and this would be 
access code. And there's no actual access code value. We're gonna do this is gonna be your here, let's do this. Um we'll make the password YouTube. And so all this code is actually in the GIST below as well. I'll have that there too. You can also just pause the video. And so S um S3, so now when I upload, it saves to a table. So we're gonna try this again. Hit back and change the file just so it's something different. I mean it could be any of these. I'm gonna use this image here. And hit upload. Usually is it they're done. I'm gonna refresh here. It's gonna have image one, two, three. Refresh our table, and we have the image right here. So the next thing we have to do is actually create a page that loads the contents of the file, but only if the access code in the URL is YouTube. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to create a new file. And we're going to call this getfile.php. And you need to have um, the AWS SDK installed. There's instructions on the top of the upload script right here. It tells you how to do it. So run composer require AWS slash AWS SDK PHP. And then I'm also going to include this GIST below, which is um, the private open the private link. Copy and paste that into here. Grab the following. I'm just gonna do this because this is my this is my bucket name. My password. I've actually never gotten a password without any special characters. The I am secret there. I'm gonna run dot just because I'm not actually working from the root directory, so I'm just saying from the current directory. And then here, C, it's going to get grab the access code. It's going to make it an uppercase, which I actually don't want to do because it's a YouTube lowercase. Um, I can make, actually make that lowercase. It, you know, you can make it uppercase, lowercase, you can make case sensitive, which increases the number of um, codes you could potentially have. So I'm going to add slashes, actually, not what I want. Uh, yes, because I don't want to have a um, SQL, X, SQL injection. Uh, password here is access code, not code here. So this becomes access code it is equal to access code. Defines the access code, grabs the file path, and then loads it. And then down here, what it does is it, it, it says creates an S3 object, which says okay, this bucket. And then in this bucket, grab the thing at this key path, which is our file. And then here, it, what it does is it says um, load the contents of the file, give it the file name, and this actually downloads the file for the user. So Save that. If it has an invalid access code, it shouldn't load anything. So we now change this path to be get file.php. 500 error. Um, that's definitely from a syntax error. That's solvable. If I can't find it quickly, no, I can. Analyze. There. Dot dot dot. I didn't actually change this to be. Uh, this is connect. I've already written all this out, so I'm just gonna take it from this page here. I'm able to connect. And to any new PHP developers, phpcodechecker.com finds if you have a 500 error, often it's a SQL uh, syntax error. Sorry, not SQL, it's just a PHP syntax error, and that's when it throws a 500. So refresh this, it says invalid access code, of course. I can put a quote comma there, and I can say, you know, one, two, three, four, or whatever. Uh, actually, if I do one, two, three, four, five, six, it actually loads my other file. It doesn't exist. I was using this in a previous video. Um, but if I put in YouTube, it downloads the file. It still says invalid access code because that's previous, but it downloads the file. I click it. And it's the same one as for my trip. So that's it for uh, today's video. I have another one on end-to-end -end guide for PHP developers. Check that out. Um, please subscribe. Please like this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Thanks.